get ready to embrace kindness to the max with a group of superheroes that show you no good deed is too small to take on. This series is breaking barriers and celebrates inclusivity with one of the stealthy do-gooders being a wheelchair user. For more on his role in the all-new animated series, Team Zenko Go, let's welcome Hartley Bernier. Hello. Good morning, Good morning. Hartley. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Good morning. Great, thank you. So great. You know what, Harley? Let's get right into this. You are amazing. Tell us what the series is about and tell us about your character, Ari. Okay. So Team Zango Go is a show about four uh, kids who go around their town doing secret good deeds for people. Um, I like to say that Ari is like the inventor of the group. He's always coming up with new gadget ideas um, that they're always using, that the team is always using in their missions. Um, he loves comic books and superhero movies, and he even runs a comic book store with his mom. Wow. That's so good. And you know what, how does it feel playing Ari, uh, especially because he's a wheelchair user? And what does that mean to you? Um, you know, our conditions um, are very similar. You know, I'm on an IV pump. Um, I have an ostomy bag. Sometimes when I'm in a lot of pain, I'll use a wheelchair. Um, he's in a wheelchair full time. So we're not exactly the same. We have so much in common. You know, we're, we're both medically complex. We both love superhero movies and comic books. Um, and I think that it, it really means a lot to me to be able to play a character who is who's almost the animated version of me in a way and bring that and present that to 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 the world. Absolutely. And you're doing an amazing job at it. How did a 12 year old you're only 12 years old, you're from Newmarket, you're breaking into the business of on show business. How did you end up on the show? It sounds like it started during your treatment at Sick Kids. So tell us that story about your connection to Sick Kids and how it turned into this awesome job. So I have been a Sick Kids ambassador since I was uh, really young, actually. And that meant um, sometimes I'd be doing speeches, sometimes I'd be doing commercials. And I think that helped me hone my skills as an actor. Um, but actually, before the pandemic started, I actually... I got an agent and I auditioned for this role. And later that year, I, um, I got the call saying that I was gonna be playing Ari and I was, I was just ecstatic. I was bouncing around the room um, and I was so happy. Oh yeah, that must have been so much fun. I mean, it's definitely so much fun. And I know you have to record lines for the show, <clears throat> but how do you do that since traveling has been so difficult during the pandemic and going to your treatments? Yes, yeah, so I had to be really safe um, during the pandemic because of my intestinal failure. Um, but the team was actually mm -hmm. really amazing and supportive in letting me record from a, um, a booth that I made with professional equipment in my room. Oh, that's so amazing. That's so great. So great that you were able to do that. And did your parents help you with that? Yeah, definitely. My parents were, um, they played a huge part in helping me prepare um, and making sure the equipment was ready. And yeah, I just, they were a huge part in um, helping me record. Amazing. And mom and dads are so amazing. And what message, you know what, you're an inspiration to me. You're an inspiration. You're a superhero to children on, on animated series and in real life. What message do you have for children and adults alike that are dealing with chronic illness? Um, I think that, um, you know, there are going to be good days and there are going to be bad days. And on the bad days, you, you really have to you got to focus on the things that um, really fulfill you and the things that really make you happy. Yeah, you definitely do. Thank you so much. Anyway, I have a really serious question here, Ari. On your pizza, what is your favorite topping? Ooh, I don't know. I am, I'm kind of, I kind of like a margarita pizza. I'm a little bit fancy like that. Um, so, you know, lots of the Ooh. melted dollops of cheese, I would say. Ooh, me too. Do you like pineapples? I am a little bit weird and I actually, I won't say no to pineapple on pizza. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's not, I don't order it all the time, but I do enjoy it. 
Oh, thank you. That made my heart melt. Thank you so much.